Well, when I started Red Torpedo, the idea was to create just a kicking underwear brand. But in 2007, I went to the Alamount TT and that was it. We were absolutely drawn to the UK motorcycle racing scene, which is pretty unique in its own right, but it's absolutely unique when it comes to road racing. There's nothing like it. It is undoubtedly the purest form of untarnished motorsport on the planet. And in terms of adrenaline, skill, speed, energy, passion, and personality, you just cannot beat it. Guy Martin was a relatively unknown figure, but we could see he was hugely popular with the fans. He was basically the guy who was up there with the top three in every race, but Monday to Friday went home and fixed trucks. Speed. Love it. Danger. Love it. Crash. It's really interesting when you look back and just see how much you know, Guy's profile has grown along with the TT. Guy Martin is an absolute integral part of the TT, as a John McGuinness, Connor Cummins, all the riders who, without whom, there just would not be an event. John McGuinness, to date, has won uh, more TTs than uh, any other living rider. Sat on the bike, you can even smell the fiberglass as it hits the floor. He is hugely respected by both the industry and the riders. Different personality to Guy, but still very, very down to earth. And I'm absolutely delighted to count him in our posse of Red Riders. Conor Cummins, the two meter man, is the only Isle of Man born uh, TT racer. Again, hugely respected by all the other riders. And again, it's an absolute honor to count him as one of our posse of Red Riders, who uh, has made a, just a remarkable recovery from a near calamitous accident he had in 2010. Um. All I know, I was just gone off to the side of the veranda and I've ended up in hospital. When Con woke up in hospital after the near calamitous accident, the first thing he said was, how was I doing in the race? That's what they live for. And people have asked him, why are you going back there after you nearly basically wrote yourself off? And he said, that's what I do. The response we get uh, in terms of the, um, you know, from, from their fans when we, when we take them out on the road to do meet and greet sessions off season within some of our wholesale customer stores is just phenomenal. And the feedback we get afterwards is just absolutely superb. There was ever a role model, yeah, Phil Gordon's a man. So yeah, to be involved with that, he makes right cool, right cool and trendy clothes. Bill Gordon came down to see me and he said, would you like us to do a range of t-shirts? I said, I'd love to. The product's great. You know, my T-shirts I'm proud of. I see people out wearing them and uh, I've great feedback from everybody that it's a good quality material and, and, you know, I look forward to seeing them on everybody's back. I wear it because I want to. And it's just, the quality, absolutely 100%. I mean, I, even, you know, you remember, I wear them for work, I wear them for work, and I wear them for work, I wear them all the time. And like, welding spatters in them, spot on, spot 100%. <laughs>